So let's uh, talk uh, a little bit about how to make a wish and about the rules that you have to keep in mind when you're making your goal or your um, wish. And there are six rules, specific rules that will uh, either help you to implement, to realize your dreams, or they will prevent you from following your dream or even delay your results. And uh, the rule number one is make your wish on your own behalf without including others. Make your wish on your own behalf without including others. So other people should not be a condition for your wish to come true. Uh, the correct way of making a wish would be, I want to have a new car in 2020. The incorrect way would be, I want my husband to buy me a car, or I want my parents to buy me a car. Uh, so when you write down, I want to have a car, you have a lot of uh, possibilities of how to obtain your new car. Maybe you will uh, get a promotion at work and will be able to afford a new car. Maybe uh, you will win a lottery and uh, in you actually the lottery in a car or maybe you will win a lottery and then you will add a little bit money and it will be enough to buy a car maybe your best friend will offer you a deal and you can get a new car and pay within several months which will be um easy for you and affordable or maybe your husband or your parents will buy your car so the test is to keep your options open do not make another person, your parent or your husband, to res be responsible for your wish. Do not make another person to be responsible for your happiness. So rule number one, all wishes should be made on your own behalf without including others. Other people and your wishes are two separate things. When you make a wish, it should be only about you and nobody else. So rule number two when you make a wish be very specific so when you make a wish be specific the correct way would be i would like to travel to hawaii next summer so i know where i want to go and when i want to go the incorrect way would be i want to go on vacation somewhere to the beach and remember the probability theory the more uh, wishes you have the more of them will count will come true so when you say that I want to go on a vacation somewhere to the beach, uh, it's just only one wish, only one wish. So it's better to specify several destinations. If you don't know exactly where do you want to go, you can create several uh, wishes. Like I want to go to Hawaii, I want to go to Costa Rica, I want to go to visit Maldives. Um, I want to go to Spain, you know? so create a long list of destinations and then the chance that at least one of the wishes will come true is high. So maybe uh, this year you will go to Hawaii, maybe next year you will go to the Maldives or Bora Bora. So uh, create a long list if you want them to come true. Be specific, do not create one wish uh, but instead create 10, 15, 20 wishes. Uh, rule number three. And rule number three is make your wish with positive wording. All your wishes, all your goals, all your desires should be made with positive wording. Examples. The correct way of making a wish would be I want to find a new job that I will enjoy. Simple, one wish, positive wording. The wrong way would be, I don't want to feel exhausted from my work. So this is negative. Uh, instead of focusing on a new job, of, on how you're going to feel when you're going to have this new job, you're focusing on the feel, uh, feelings of tiredness and exhaustedness and the fear of feelings of being exhausted. Another example, the correct way would be, I want to have a loving, caring relationships with my husband or with my family members. 
uh, the incorrect way would be I don't want to fight with my husband anymore so although it might sound kind of positive I don't want to fight with my husband anymore uh, this is still negative uh, wording because you are focusing your brain into fight into conflicts into misunderstandings but uh, today's goal of today's webinar to teach you how to program yourself for success so you can make all your dreams wishes and goals uh, to come true so I want you to focus on positive things like having love and caring relationships with my husband with my friends with my co-workers instead of fight conflicts and avoiding conflicts so when you're gonna write your wishes the rule number three is to write down what you want instead of what you don't want let's move on rule number four break down big wishes into several smaller ones again you need to have a long list of wishes and uh, the correct way would be I want to be promoted at my job and the incorrect way would be I want to make a lot of money so I can travel around the world so the second option I want to make a lot of money so I can travel around the world it's a huge uh, dream and your brain does not know how to comprehend it because first it's money then it's travel travel where around the world no specific destination uh, you don't know how much money do you need for that so probably this wish will never come true if you're gonna put it in this specific phrase uh, so if you want uh, your wishes to come true break them down into smaller one I want to get a promotion at work I want to visit uh, Paris I want to go to Canada I want to buy myself a new car so money is one uh, source that can uh, that you can use to buy several things so instead of writing one big dreams like I want to make a lot of money be specific what do you want instead of those money or for example if you write I want to have a loving relationships with my uh, with my friends it's better to specify like I want to be treated respectful with my uh, by my friends I want to feel great about people that I meet in life I want to meet new friends I want I want to um, learn how to build healthy boundaries uh, in my personal relationships so instead of creating one um, complicated dream and confusing yourself and your brain just try to break them into smaller parts uh, another example um, the incorrect way of creating a dream would be I want to remodel my house and for your brain and like not for your brain for anybody this is a very hard and big job to remodel the house right so again it involves money other people contracts thinking about the wall colors furniture a lot of stuff so for in order for this dream to come true it's it's hard it's not easy let's put it this way so if you want the correct way of how to make your dream or your goal break it into small parts for example I want to remodel the kitchen in my house I want to remodel uh, my home office I want to change uh, the paint color in my bedroom I want to buy myself a new office chair etc so instead of one complicated dream you can create five six seven eight nine ten here is your ten dreams that's it simple break them down uh, okay rule number five and number six I will share with you with people who will come to my online course program yourself for success and I promised I will tell you how to attend it for free at the end of the webinar so I hope that uh, you already uh, see how important it is to make your dreams to plan your goals correctly because if you put it in a wrong wording if you put it um, uh, without following those rules the chance that your dreams will come true is very very small 
So uh, let's summarize so far what um, was on today's webinar. Uh, the first, let's summarize the first part of today's webinar. Number one, what I want you to remember is, let me put you the agenda back so you can follow, follow me on the screen. So we spoke about quantity versus quality and the more dreams you have, the better. Then we spoke about Harvard research and uh, this is very important that you should write all your dreams on the paper. So it should be a wish list written on the paper. And this is my wish list. There are a lot of pages, right? And I already wrote the first 500 dreams in here. So I already have like 600 probably. And the idea is we all know that not all dreams will come true. And that's normal, that's fine. That's why we have so many of them. So, but the idea is to teach yourself how to dream big, to teach yourself how to uh, create the list of your dreams, not just one thing, but to live uh, in the abundance mentality. And the next Saturday, I will actually have another free webinar about abundance mentality. So I will tell you how to join it at the end of this webinar. Then we spoke about six rules and I shared four rules with you. If you did not make notes of those rules, you can re-watch this webinar. You can watch it again and write down those rules. Or if you will join me on my online course, uh, you will have those rules uh, on your screen. Very easy to access at any time that you want.